welcome back to my channel, my loves. Today we're going to be dressing the Oshun altar. Starting off first with a clean slate and these candles that were left over from my new moon ritual. Oshun loves sparkling pretty things in the color yellow, orange, and gold, so I'll be using citrine and this tapestry fabric. These are the special oils that I picked for the ritual oil. Next, I have on deck yellow roses that I hand dried that I'll be using as offerings and gifts to Ashun. The Bahati Life Apothecary is where I keep most of my herbs and carrier oils, which I will use to bring upstairs to the altar to start my ritual oil. I have all my ingredients organized and prepped. Now that we're ready, it's time to get started. Attention and focus is everything when you're working with intention oils and magic. Taking my time, I focus on each oil's properties and the energy that they're bringing to the oil. Most of my intent and ritual oils need about two to three days to sit in order to absorb all their energy and properties, but for the sake of this video, I'm gonna continue moving forward. Once the ritual oils are complete, I'm going to put my ingredients away and move on to dressing the altar. Here I'm using the ritual oil in order to anoint a cloth to bless the altar space. I personally do this once every full moon cycle because the energy of the oil that I add to the wood can absorb and wear off pretty quickly. Next I'm using a sweet grass braid in order to bless and cleanse my space. For me, this is the fun part, adding the sparkly cloths and candles and crystals that I collected in order to use as offerings to the goddess. Remember, decorating your altar doesn't need to be perfect. Just follow your heart and you'll be fine. Blowing tobacco smoke over the altar acts as a blessing and additional purification. Remember these sparkling citrine beauties? The day I do my ritual, I bring vanilla caramel tea in order to add as an offering. For this ritual, I'm gravitating toward vanilla caramel bigelow tea and a honey spoon. These honey spoons are perfect as they have bee pollen in them and Oshun is connected to the bumblebee, just like Bahati Life. Add cinnamon to the tea, it's her favorite. Little slip of my intentions are added to pink paper. Then I tuck it away for safekeeping. Tonight's ritual is complete, now let's move on to day-to-day -day maintenance. For the intentions that I set, I want the energy to be around me daily. For that, I'll come back to my altar every morning and add the ritual oil to my body. I personally like to feel like a goddess, so I put it all over my body, but there are some people who like to put it on certain chakra points or use it exclusively for candle magic. Once the ritual oil is on, I go on about my day, letting it do its magic. You can find my ritual oils in the Bahati Life shop in every single shop update. Thanks for watching.